back again, huh? Changed your mind? I still need to know if you have any problems with killing. Or oh, the right money, huh? I've got this list of people. Ghoul bigots. Real scum. I've only got four guys left on the list. Started with eleven. All of them hate ghouls and treat us like we're zombies. They all deserve to die, but it has to be done with a headshot. Just like the old stories where zombies can only be killed that way. I'll give you a hundred caps for each of them. If they die some other way, I'm only paying twenty-five, though. I thought so. No stomach for heart. I thought you weren't interested. Well, I... I've... I'll... Excellent. Take this sniper rifle. You'll need it. Here's a list of the guys in their last known locations. Word will get around if ten pennies killed, but I'll need proof for the others. Bring me back something personal from each of them as proof. Like a key or a ring or something. Bye. What's the rush, dude? Whoa, that's a blast from the past. My dad knew a dude named Crowley. I never met him, though. I think dad said he died when they were checking out some old fort. Nah, he said that old man Tenpenny hired him and some other guys to go in there, but he never said why. My dad made enough caps off it to set him up good, though. Everybody knows he runs Tenpenny Tower, but I never met the dude. I swear. No shit. That dude wants me dead? Whoa. Is this, like, worth caps? Cause I got needs, man. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be flying high tonight. What you need? How about a drink? No? Suit yourself. He's fucking dead, that's what I can tell you. Feral ghouls ripped his nuts off and ate them for dinner. Hey, a little shithole called Fort Constantine. It fucked us up, but good. It's northwest of here, numb nuts. A long fucking walk, too. Wankers like you can't get in, though. Huh? You need a special set of keys. Then Penny hired us as mercs. He wanted some fancy fucking gun. Don't know how he got Crowley to sign on. Ten Penny fucking hates ghouls. Haha, <laughs> no clown shoes. Ten Penny hired a whole fucking team. Stray, Crowley, Tara, Dave, and me. Tara had a pair on her. <laughs> Sweet Jesus, they were nice. Ha <laughs> ha. That place fucked her up more than I did, huh? The rest of us went our separate ways after that. So, the meat bag is alive, huh? And I bet I know what he wants. But I don't know what you want. 
What's your angle, clown shoes? That dog ain't gonna hunt. You're gonna have to do better than that. Now that's what I'm talking about. You don't even know what's going on, do you, clown shoes? <laughs> you just bought yourself a motherfucking key. Now take it and get the hell out of here. Don't let the door hit you in the ass, clown shoes. <laughs> the Republic of Dave. This is the Republic of Dave. Duh. It's named for President Daddy. But you have to talk to him if you want to stay here. Okay, I'll take you. But President Daddy doesn't always like new people. Okay, follow me. Daddy says the people from outside are the Republic really are bad. Are you really from the wasteland? Are you really wow. from the wasteland? Hey. Whoa. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. Later. Are you really from the wasteland? Wow! I am Dave, President of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President or I will have you executed. Now, are you applying for a citizenship, asylum, or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? You are? Excellent. It's good to see that the Wasteland has finally recognized the Sovereign Republic of Dave. If the people of the Wasteland are generous and respectful, I might deign to annex them. There's an election for the next president. Don't look so surprised. Can't you see this is a republic? Dictatorship? You insult me. Obviously, the wasteland radiation has taken away your capacity to reason. The Department of Tourism usually handles all questions for outsiders. Make it quick. That's right. As president, I am head of the Department of Tourist Rights, the Office of Immigrant Affairs, and the Bureau of Dave-like Activities. My proudest duty, second to the presidency, is commander and chief of the Army of Dave, the most ruthless military in the wasteland. Years ago, I freed these poor people from the wrath of Tom, former monarch of the kingdom of Tom. Afterwards, the people naturally elected me as their president and the Republic of Dave was formed. Well, the Republic of Dave is the only true sovereign nation in the Wasteland. The only really civilized place left in the world. One day, all Wastelanders will be citizens in the Republic and know the greatness of their president. Well, good for you, then. The election is still going on. What do you want to know? That would be Bob, Shauna, Jessica, Rosie, and myself. In the Republic, if you're old enough to carry a weapon, you're old enough to vote. Rosie and Jessica are usually here in the capital. Bob usually hangs out outside near the Brahmin pen. Shauna runs the Museum of Dave, so you can find her there.
Anything else? There's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Before the people elected me president, I worked with a mercenary named Mr. Crowley. We were part of an expedition to Fort Constantine. Two of us died, including Crowley. The rest achieved the mission goals and were paid. When the feral ghouls killed Terra, Dukov realized that he would get more of the commission. He decided to kill off the rest of us, too. He locked Crowley into a room with feral ghouls, and that was the last we saw of him. Strayer and I didn't trust Dukov after that. The three of us finished the mission together, but with guns drawn. Alive? I always wondered. He was locked in with a bunch of feral ghouls. They won't attack ghouls, you see. Would you consider taking him a personal item, like this key, and just telling him you killed me? You need all the keys to get through Fort Constantine. With only one key, there's no point in my going back. Hmm. Of course it would. I knew that. I was just testing you to see if you would realize it. Here, take the key. It is a gift from the Republic of Dave to the Wasteland. Very well. How did you get past the guard? What do you want? The ghoul? He's dead. Died twenty years ago. Good riddance, too. I hate those shufflers. Who cares? I hired some mercenaries to get me some equipment from Fort Constantine. He was one of them. Of the five, only three survived. You'll have to ask one of them if you want the gory details. He's alive? I should have known. It's hard to kill those zombies. You've got to shoot him in the head. Whatever he's paying you, I'll double it. You mercenaries are so reliably predictable. One hundred now, two hundred when the job is done.
Suspender Rococo Rockfowl at your service. Gotta be careful out here, mister. Don't shoot at me or my friends. I think we'll get along just fine. We've got power armor and big guns, and we're the ones doing the talking right now. Usually, that's all a person needs to know, and they stop asking questions. You going to stop asking questions now? Bye. Keep your head down, idiot. Raider incoming. If you're going to get yourself killed out here, you mind doing it further away from our bunker? I don't want your corpse stinking up our little patch of heaven. Yeah, that's what they all say, usually just before stepping on a landmine. I'm Defender Anne Marie Morgan with the Outcasts. Steer clear of here and you should be able to continue with that whole not dying plan. We call ourselves the Outcasts, and we collect technology to preserve it from tribals and idiot locals. And before you ask, we were cast out from that company of Zeros, who call themselves Lion's Brotherhood of Steel. Way we figure it, if traders think we're too harsh in following orders, we're probably doing something right. We aren't recruiting, kid. Old sap lions might trust walk-ins, but we don't. But if you want to help out, well, we might be able to work out a deal. You bring in technological devices, and we'll pay you a finder's fee based on the device. But Protector Kasdan would have to okay it first. We may be the best equipped people in the world, but we've still only got so many people out there looking to recover the past technology. Locals like you can cover more of the wastes to uncover technological relics like power armor or power cells. We know their value better than any junk trader. And we've got more ammo stores, so you can expect a better trade for the tech. Okay, but first you'll have to talk with Protector Kasdan. You can work out the details with him. Back to stare at all the outcasts. I'm Protector Henry Kasdan, leader of the Outcasts. This had better be good. Normally, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to a local, but Morgan tells me you can make yourself useful. So, interested in collecting technology for us? It's simple enough. Bring in technological devices, and we'll pay you for what you find. Big things like power armor or energy weapons are best, but we'll take things like sensor units or spare parts, too. You never know what's important. In return, we'll pay you with your choice of 556 ammo, grenades, stim packs, or right away. I'll bet they're more useful to you out there anyway. That's what I like to hear. You can start immediately. You'll report directly to me. I'll take in your gear and dole out your pay. Now get cracking. We were cast out for our dedication to the Brotherhood's true goals. Lyons wanted to play hero to the locals instead of doing his job. We were proud to leave him, so we kept the name Outcasts and wear it with pride. A big fuck you to the old man. He may have struck our names from the Great Codex, but we'll be vindicated in the end, 
and our names will be restored. Which one? The original Brotherhood out west, or the shit that Lyons turned it into out here? I mean the Brotherhood from out west, back around California. We knew what we were doing back there. We didn't waste time with delusions of heroism. We were collecting still glowing embers from the ashes of humanity. Before civilization's fire died completely. We didn't worry about saving individual communities. We worried about saving the progress of humanity itself. Oh, he used to be as tough as the rest of us. Wasn't so long ago, we fought side by side to scourge the pit. But somewhere, he went soft. Stopped looking at the big picture and started trying to save every tribal and illiterate community he found. When he had us helping those savages instead of recovering tech that could help us all, that's when we objected and became outcasts. The Brotherhood came out here to recover technology from the eastern cities and bases. If lions won't do it, then we will. And when we resume contact with the western elders, lions is going to be put in his place. Even if that place is in front of a firing squad. All right, then. Yeah, see you. <laughs> oh!